Hello, Internet. Welcome back to Upstairs Room Software. Tonight, I am playing Barbarian via emulation on the Commodore Amiga 500. Palace Software, a United Kingdom-based company, developed, designed, and released Barbarian in Europe and around most of the world. It was later licensed to Epix for the North American market, where it was actually renamed Death Sword. Death Sword is the game that I actually had. I didn't have Barbarian. Uh, Epix also decided not to put a sleek and sexy scene on the cover of the box, you know, like Palace Software did when they use Maria Whitaker there. Uh, instead, Epix decided to put the cover image of a hairy barbarian dude and one that looked like he was kind of constipated. Not cool, Epix. Not cool at all. So when you look at the two boxes here, you gotta, you got to realize one is going to outsell over the other one. And the reason is obvious, considering that back in the late 80s, early 90s, your basic gamer at that time on the PC was a young teenage boy. So which one do you think they were going to want to buy? Hmm. I wonder. Anyway, getting back to the game boxes. Looking at the art, which one do you prefer? There is no wrong or right answer here, I'm just kind of curious. So let me know in the comments below. Did you prefer the Death Sword box art, or do you prefer the Barbarian box art? Now, let's go watch me play Barbarian. This is going to be kind of funny because... uh pretty sure I'm going to get my butt handed to me. Okay, looks like my name is in there from a thousand million years ago. Tim. They call him Tim. Let's check out a demonstration. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to get beat really bad. Um, just looking at this here, these guys are moving. seems like they're moving a lot faster than I remember back when I was a kid when I played this game. It, it's probably been 1990, 1991 since I last played this, and I don't remember moving this quick. It's probably something with the emulator. Um, I don't know. Let's give it a go. Oh yeah, he's moving. I'm the guy on the left, just so you know. Trying to cut off his head. That's a sure way to win. Or not. Oh, he is just owning me. I can't even... Yeah. Try that again. Holy cow. Yeah, this is moving a lot faster than I remember. I barely can respond to... There's like no pause between his moves. Look at that. There's just no way. Am I the, I, I, I used to be able to go through levels of this thing. Okay. We'll go to the old standby here. Oh, man. Whoa. Gotta get at least that. There we go. And each level you progress in this game, the opponent gets a little bit harder. That's why it's always fun to play two-player with a buddy, because then you're, you know, at least evenly matched against each other's own ability. But against the computer, they just get faster and faster and faster. But I don't remember them being that quick. Oh. Yeah, he's just instantly going from one move to the next. All 
or maybe I'm just getting old. You know, out of practice. I don't know what it is. Anybody who's watching this who has experience using an emulator playing this game, is it moving faster? Is it, or is it just me? Oh, wow. Yeah, so I'm always going for the head chop, but... Oh. This is what happens when you take too much steroids, right? Oh. I barely did anything to this guy. <laughs> All right. Well, you get the idea. Um, it's a, it's a fun game, I man. If you can load this up and play it with a buddy or something, I mean, it, it it's a really good time. You know, just to go back and forth, especially when you get the swords clanking and hitting each other. Um, you get some really cool sounds. You know, on on the Amiga version. Um, I had this. I you know I I don't think I had this on the Commodore 64. Uh, but it was a purchase that I got relatively quickly when I eventually did get an Amiga 500. Um, I, I remember quite a few people, you know, uh, in my gaming group had this game. And I remember the, the box art uh, here in North America was for Death Sword. Um, it was kind of lame. But I remember, I remember seeing in the magazines and things... Uh, the box art for Barbarian and Barbarian 2. It was a real fetching cover. It really stood out. And I know overseas in Europe and elsewhere around the world where they had the Barbarian title, uh, the Maria Whitaker, uh, she had to help these things just fly off the shelf. Anyway, uh, you get the idea from watching this game. Uh, watch me play this game. It, it's pretty fun. It, it's uh, got some cool sounds. The, the graphics aren't great, but it's very simple and it's easy to play the moves and learning everything you can jump right in fairly quickly and uh, have a good time especially if you can play it with some buddies and get some competitions going you know uh, it's a good time so once again thanks for watching and of course like comment share all that good stuff appreciate it thanks <laughs> <laughs>